So this project really for me was um, uh, a bit of a dream really. Um, I've always wanted to do a, a residential build and to do a sort of project which was in a remote and rural location. Um, I wanted something that was um, within striking distance of London but also was real wild countryside with mountains and rivers and forests and streams and um, set apart from, from, from other houses. I saw this derelict barn up for sale with some land um, in North Wales and um, very ambitiously, as I now realise, bought it without planning permission and, and set about um, designing exactly what I was going to do with it. Um, but I built up over a number of years a sort of scrapbook of ideas, as people do, um, of all the little sort of elements that I wanted to put into a build. But whilst maintaining the sort of um, the historic elements of the building and trying to put those ideas sensitively against um, the um, uh, material and the and materials and the style that was um, had attracted me to it in the first place, it became apparent quite early on in the project that with double height spaces and all of the um, natural and historic features that I wanted to preserve that lighting the spaces was going to be a real challenge and was not something that I as an amateur could make a, a decent job of. So I started asking around um, friends and family for suggestions of um, people that we should go to and one of the names that consistently came up very positively was John Cullen. Um, a friend of mine simply said, they're the best um, and really off the back of that I came to one of Sally's masterclasses and that for me was a, a revelation. I came very much with the sense that um, I'd missed something in my um, experience of how lighting had developed. For me, I was aware vaguely that lighting was no longer the 60 watt bayonet light bulb and that there had been halogens along the way, but the complexity of modern lighting and um, how that industry has moved on um, and my sort of knowledge gap around that became apparent very quickly. But actually what I took away from the masterclass that um, Sally gave was none of that technicality, but rather just how creative um, John Cullen are and that all of the ideas she was putting across and the effects that they can generate were things that I wanted to achieve and were in my scrapbook. It was as if she'd had a sort of sneak preview look into my sort of scrapbook of ideas of what I wanted to do with my project and was particularly lecturing to me around um, how John Cullen could achieve them. So I was, I was sold very early on that John Cullen were the right people to come to um, for my project. So the cow shed is a really interesting project. Um, Simon brought it to me as a tumble down shack right in the middle of nowhere. All I knew was that it was quite small, never been lived in before, and it's in the middle of Snowdonia. So I came in open mind, uh, and I wasn't disappointed. Simon came to the showroom with a USB stick full of photographs, the before photos that maybe we were including this, um, with all sorts of things. It's, it's full of sheep, it's full of cobwebs, things are falling down, it's totally dishevelled and totally what you would expect from a cow shed. Um, he also came with lots of ideas. He'd got an architect on board who had drawn a model and that 3D model had been used to create stills of where the beams might be, how the room would work, where the windows would go in, because there were a few existing bits, but then it was working the addition. Following the masterclass, I fixed up to come and meet with one of the John Cullen design team, Rebecca Hutchison, and we had a, a very enjoyable couple of hours going through my scrapbook of ideas and the plans for the project, and Rebecca had um, done quite a bit of homework prior to that meeting. I'd sent her the plans in advance and she brought a lot of ideas. She was very quick to pick up my kind of dreams and the um, concepts and effects I was looking to create and the, the sort of lighting effects that, that I liked 
and really ran with that. And we, we had an incredibly enjoyable um, first session, um, thrashing out some ideas and, and just workshopping the whole project and, and the plans. We, we had a four hour meeting and we didn't even sit down. So it was exhausting, but it was a real coming together of creative minds. He brought a lot of passion with him and a lot of material so that I could really help guide him through how the light could shape that space. One of the things that really impressed me and um, has impressed me consistently through the process of working with John Collins is their eye to detail and their accuracy. So the plans that she sent through were 100% accurate. There were no mistakes on them at all. And that was very refreshing for me because with many other aspects of the project and contractors I've been working with, uh, I was constantly correcting their work and sending it back to them. But the level of um, eye for detail that John Cullen's team have um, is really um, very impressive. The biggest challenge was how detailed it all was. Simon had the wisdom to employ an architect, to employ a very accomplished electrician a little further down the road, a very talented carpenter who worked with traditional methods and was local to the project, and also to employ me to bring my lighting expertise and to really make it come alive. But this meant that I had a lot of different people to work with. I had the 3D model from the architects, I had a lot of information from Simon and I worked also with the carpenter to make sure that he was happy detailing the lighting details such as the staircase, the underlight of the kit plate in the kitchen, little low level things like this where you don't want to see the light but you want to see the effect. So it was very tricky. In a job this size I probably normally have about three details but on my drawing for this one I had 14. The lighting that the design team have um, achieved is really spectacular. Um, it's enhanced the building um, at every level and within every space. And what I think for me is so impressive is how John Cullen have been able to take the plans and the new elements that we were adding to the building within those plans and anticipate how to light those um, and how to light them to the best effect. Uh, there hasn't been a single element within the project where I feel John Cullen haven't quite got it right and I think the, the level of experience that the team have is, is clear in that, that they're able to work off plan with spaces and with photographs as well um, to achieve some, you know, everything you wish for in a project and it, it has achieved everything that I wished for and more. There are so many um, parts of the project and the effects that uh, Rebecca has created, which I absolutely love. Um, there's the LED, hidden LED strip that backlights the, the wine rack and shines light through the bottles, creating um, you know, very deep, rich colours, um, which is incredibly attractive. Um, there's also the, the use of LED strip as, a, as an uplight at the top of the walls, highlighting the stone. Um, and within the kitchen, um, at the, the top of the curved wall and at the kick plate um, and under the breakfast bar. But probably perhaps my, my favourite um, part is the use of the LED strip to uh, underlight each of the individual stair treads. It just creates a fantastic um, effect and the staircase looks straight out of Hollywood um, and you just feel you're in a classy establishment, really, um, looking at that, I think. I really like the staircase. Um, the underlight works so well because you can't see it, but you really appreciate the grain of the timber used on that stair. But without shouting about something that is really obvious in the job, I actually really like the really small niche windows that are high level. We've got one at the top of the living room wall and one at the top of the wall between the mezzanine and the bedroom. We've got a little Luca down light in there, just catching a little bit of light on the sculpture that we place at the top there. And it's something that otherwise wouldn't be seen at night, but it's a feature that is original to that building and it just ties it all in. It's a lot of work to get it there, and I, this is why it's so important to work with contractors the whole way through, to have them on board with the job and to get them familiar with those products so that they're happy using them. It was a really nice little thing to include. The lighting has um been a fantastic success. 
everybody who comes to visit, family and friends, are just completely blown away um, by the building, but it's the lighting which really sets off the building and creates the atmosphere. You just see the light and you feel the light in the building without really sensing where it's coming from. It's, um, it's really quite emotional when it's all finished and you, you see the results of that journey. The lighting within all of the spaces is consistently everything I wished for and more. The flexibility of the lighting is, is so varied as well. You can use it to create different moods and different effects, but all within a sort of a palette in a, in a, and in a tasteful way, which is never um, ostentatious and, um, and just lighting for the sake of um, a lighting effect. It's, it's all very much um, created to enhance the, the, sort of the natural aesthetic of, of the building rather than to, to take over and dominate it. It was very much a less is more approach. Some jobs can really, you can really throw everything at it. And it, it shows off not only the architecture, but also the character of the building and the character of your client. So you can make something really unique in every job. But this one really was about the view during the day and the architecture at night. But that architecture wasn't something really modern. It wasn't something very strong in an industrial sort of sense. It was a soft, ex-agricultural building. It had movement, it had character, it had lumps and bumps. So it was those little features that were nice to, to highlight. The spotlights on the beams, just the most stunning timber, really well cleaned up, um, and just highlights like that that really worked well. I would undoubtedly recommend uh, coming to John Cullen's for any project really. Uh, I think one of the, the great things about John Cullen's is that their staff, as I've said, are incredibly intelligent, but they're very intuitive about getting to the, the root of, of what their customers' needs and um, dreams are really and realising that within their budget. And I think, you know, regardless of the project, I think, you know, my project certainly wasn't um, the biggest, I'm sure, that they've ever done. Um, but I know it wasn't also the smallest. And I think they're very clever at being able to tailor their services to their clients' needs, but also to their clients' budget. So I would undoubtedly recommend them again to anybody. And I think it would be difficult to imagine that, there's pro that there are better people out there to go to.